Harley wants to be in the shop this time. Step Tomo. So, yes, this is an unboxing video, but first, gonna give a little bit of kind of history here. This is from my own research because there's so much out there. Um, and it's leading up to the unboxing. We'll, so it all has to do with that, so don't worry. But we all know what these are, right? Wagasashi Tonto. Okay. So what I found out is between the Tonto and the Wagasashi, there's kind of, you know, a non-set measurement for the both of them. Like Wagasashi can be shorter or can be longer. From what I found out, they can be up to the blade. And this is uh, this all pertains to the blade length. The blade length on a Wagasashi can go up to 24 inches. Okay, which would be an O Wagasashi. All right, or it can be actually shorter, which can be a Ko Wagasashi. Well, same for the Tonto. Um, I haven't seen anywhere where it's below 11 inches, the blade. This one is closer to 13, which is pretty much the standard, anywhere from 11 to 13 standard size. But during the, I do believe it's the Muramachi period, um, feudal wars were really, really heavy and prevalent in Japan. So they had to produce a numerous amount of weaponry. The problem was it had the, you know, the nice fit and finish to them. But the problem was the quality, the steel of the quality was lacking and the swords in the Tontos were breaking. So they had to go back to, hey, it's going to be a little bit, you know, because steel has to be better. So when they did that, some samurais suggested, hey, could you make this a little bit longer? So they would actually make some of the Tontos, not very many, doesn't look like, anywhere to 15 and 7 eighths to 16 inches long. Now people would argue nowadays, well then that's a Ko Wagasashi. For my research, 16 inches is kind of like a gray area between the Tonto and the Wagasashi. So, what are you doing? It's kind of gray area, so I would say it's up to the person who owns it, whether you think it's a Wagasashi or you think it's a Tonto. Really. So, with that being said, in that little tidbit out there, let's um, get these out of our way. And uh, let's open this. Now, the question is, what's in the box? Could it be an O Wagasashi? A Ko Wagasashi? An O Tonto? Or there's no Ko Tonto. There's just an O Tonto. Because O, the O doesn't represent everyone. Some people think it's the width of the blade. The blade's wider. That's not necessarily true. It can be longer. So, let's open this up and let's take a look at what's inside. And while I'm getting this open, I'm gonna do a little rant. Um, this spent less time in China than it trying to get to me. It spent, according to the tracking, three days from the time they shipped it. Okay, so, and it spent 10 days in the United States to get here. That's a little ridiculous. They kept changing the delivery date all this week. It's been in the United States for like 10 days. 
UPS, you're really dropping the ball. I told my wife, FedEx is out doing it. And normally FedEx is like, eh, we'll deliver it when we feel like. And uh, my wife gets stuff from FedEx. And all the time. And it comes on regular clock. Sunday. Yeah, even came on Sunday. There's stuff in FedEx. Normally they're terrible. Yeah, they've gotten, they've upped their game. U UPS is dropping the ball. Couldn't believe it. This is a little, this one's being a little problematic today because I think there's something additional in here too. So, bear with me. We're getting it. There we go. Yes, there is something additional in here. All right. So let's go ahead and get this additional stuff out. Chinese newspaper. That's what's additional. So, we have, and this looks really nice so far. And they used a, looks like a Wagasashi box, which is absolutely fine. Oh wow. This stand is really, really nice. Now, I went with Hanbon on this, so everybody knows. Okay. And this stand looks really nice. It's got the red felt, so it doesn't scratch your saya. Double tier. We have, and they changed their um, certificates. They're, they're a little bit smaller and they fold up, which is kind of nice. And we have everything it looks like so far that I wanted. So let's get this out. Oh, this thing's heavy. Things heavy. I got styrofoam all over my floor. I also like they let you choose a free um, sword bag. So I have almost, I have, we have tons of just straight black ones. And we just about have, I think, every sword bag that they offer. So, let's get this out of here. Now let's go ahead and try and get this wrapping off. Oh, this is easy. This head. There we go. Done. Let's set that over there. Hopefully cats don't eat it. So, so far, looks nice. Now I didn't go with their full Semigawa wrap or their um, little, I forget the name of it, where it has little triangle papers. I am going to have them make another sword with the whole nine yards, but not yet. And I already know what um, blade style I want them to do. So this has the red threads, what they call red threads on the Saya, which looks pretty good so far. No scratches, the lacquer looks nice. The Samigao is tight as always. And so is the Ito. Um, Hanbon does an awesome job on their Ito. I've, besides one sword that I have, which is just for practice, I have never had an issue with their Ito wrapping, never. And of course, as always, they wrap like I said, they wrap around the Kashra. 
which is one way, the proper way of doing it, or you wrap it, you can wrap behind it. But I've never, ever, so far to date, except, like I said, one sword from them, I have never had to glue their kasha at all. Now, they could be gluing them on, I don't know, but every one I get that has the Edo wrap around it, never have I had to do anything to them. So, let's take this out. Now, I'm pretty sure this wasn't fitting all the way in because of this. And they oiled this thing up a lot. A lot. So, I have, I remember this time, tissue. The reason why I use tissue paper, oh yeah, it's got a ton of oil on this thing, is because it won't scratch the sword. It's got a lot of oil on it, which is a good thing. Very, very good thing. Getting that bohe there. Let me get another one here, another tissue. So what I had them do, and they made it, I didn't even ask them to do this, but they made it geometric, which is kind of nice, is a double bohe on this one. And if you look right, let me see if I can't get in the light there. There we go. It's symmetrical. Instead of just a rounded off end. I didn't even ask them to do that. So, that is really, really nice of them to do. Now, I went with the dragon theme on this one. So, let's see if I can't get that in there. There we go. And then there's a Kashra. So, feels a little front heavy. So let's see where the point of balance is. That's real close to the handle though. Real close. So that's not bad at all. There's hardly, there's a little gap right here. And it's totally sealed up on the other side. They did a really good job on the hibaki, on fitting it. I'm gonna show you if I can pick it up. Just right there is one little gap. And that sits nice. On the other side, no gap whatsoever. So that's nice. They did a good job on that. Because sometimes you have gaps on both sides or whatever. And everything on this is nice and tight. Oh yeah. It's got an edge. How much of an edge? I don't know yet got a magazine here. So we're just going to go ahead and try it. Right out of the box. And I get a cat flying in the air. So give it a nice good strop. And it might be okay. It's got a pretty decent edge on this thing right now. It really, really does. Styrofoam everywhere. Now let's see here. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of shaving 
on the Corriguchi because it doesn't fit all the way in. It's hella tight though. So I'm afraid of actually pushing it all the way in and not getting that out of there. So I'll have to do a little bit of filing. Oh, yeah, that's the Corriguchi on that side is a little too tight. So that's okay. I'd rather have it be like that than where it just drops right out of there. So, other than that, see, I didn't want to go all out on this with what they offer now because I didn't know how one it was going to turn out. Because you don't see um, a lot of people making custom length tontos. It's, or Wagasashi's for that matter. It's normally Katana. Which you can do. And there's nothing wrong with it. Um, doing that. But there are actually with Katana set measurements for the length of the blade to the person. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that. And it's actually easy to, um, if you're trying to figure out how long of a katana blade you should get, it's actually really easy. Um, even for your handle length. Um, because a katana should should be kind of geometrical to your body, per se. So, that's how katana works. But, overall, this thing came out really nice. I like the fittings. They're actually really clean. They're not like muddy. And that just means that their pattern is well taken care of. Because I did, you haven't seen my video about patterns and how expensive it is to keep them up. And this goes for, I don't care what company you go with. They have patterns to make these fittings. Every company does. And it's expensive to keep up with keeping them in good condition. Um, how I know is I work in a foundry now. I've uh, been there for about 12 years. So, and we charge the customer because we don't own the pattern. We can, the prices vary. But when you see fittings like this that are crisp and clean, even on my um, Sawadi, they're super crisp and clean. That means they maintain their pattern. They, um, they may even have a pattern maker there on hand and they maintain it. Um, some places don't. They, the pattern might be owned by somebody else or whatever. So, and it's pricey. I don't care what country you're in, it's pricey because you have to be very skilled to maintain these patterns. It's a total art of itself. So, but this is my O Tonto right here. Definitely going to see how well this cuts. For sure. And the blade material is 1095. It's through hardened, not differential. Because like I said, I wanted to see how this came out. Balance wise, feel wise. So, didn't go all out with this one. It was kind of an experiment you could say. But it came out really, really nice. I'm going to have to shoot an email to Yao 
thanking him for the exceptional job that they did on this right here. They did a really, really nice job. I will say that. So if you've been wondering if you should get a custom length Barsashi Tonto, there you go. There you go. And to show the difference, in fact, let me get my tape measure here. Let's see our blade length is. Let's see if they got it in there. The length that I requested. Four. Okay, they got it pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. They got it. I asked for a 16 inch cutting edge. It's 15 and a half. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Because they go all the way down to here, too. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so camera died. Anyways, <laughs> which gave me time to clean things up. So you can kind of see the difference here in lengths. Um, also gave me time to weigh my Otonto. So I weighed my regular size Tonto from Murasami, which doesn't have a bogey. It's because it's a Shobu style. It weighs one pound eight ounces. Okay. My Otonto weighs one pound 9.2 ounces so the weight is really close to it but I think also putting that double bohe in there really helped with that reducing that weight in it because And if you look at the thicknesses, the thicknesses of the blades, here's the Okatana, and there's the Mune. Okay. Now here's the Murasami, the Shobu blade. So as you can see, like the Shobu, like I said, they, it doesn't have bohi. So I'm pretty sure adding that double bohe in there helped out with the weight a lot. Because you can see the differences in there in length. Pretty good. This will probably be a really good cutter. Really good. have to do some filing too on the Saya so it fits all the way in because I'm pretty sure they had to um, custom make this. They probably chopped it down, moved the corrugata down. But yeah, I like it. I like it. Especially this um, red thread, black with red thread Saya. Been eyeing getting a sword in this. Glad I got it. But I can feel, and it's not like you can feel the heft, but it's more in the handle. It's not like in the front. So definitely gonna have to try this out and see how it cuts for sure. But I like it. I think they did a good job doing a custom length like that. So, if you're thinking about playing with the measurements on a Wagasashi, Tonto, there you go. I mean, you can't go wrong, really. I mean, I would say though, if it hasn't been something you've seen done before, um, 
maybe like I, what I did, I didn't go all out with high fittings and everything until you see how it comes out, if it comes out good or not. Um, because you may not like it. So, I may eventually, like I said, I'm going to have one in the works of Katana. With all out. But eventually, maybe I'll do custom length walk slash you up to 24 and we'll see how that is except have the traditional handle on it like I said this is the traditional handle for a walk slash not this because walk slash is one handed just like the Tonto not where you can put two hands on it so it's supposed to be about I think six and seven eighths to maybe seven inches max for your handle for Wagasashi. And you very rarely find companies outside Japan that do that. Um, there are a few, I think Cold Steel does it. I know Hanway does it. Um, might be a couple others I can't think of offhand but yeah it's supposed to have a shorter handle for sure so if I have a custom one made I'll request that make sure it has the shorter handle because they did double pin this this is double pinned on here so there's one pin there's the other pin and I'm pretty sure if I talked to Yao and I told him to um, make sure that these aren't covered up because they are in the back. Of course, with this, it's kind of hard to do because it's so short. Um, he would probably make sure that it was done. Um, Yao's really easy to work with. You tell him what you want, what you want, and. To make it clear, send him photos and it'll be done. They had this done in less than a week for me. So they they were moving pretty good on it and it came out nice. Um, Saya is, start, is starting to fit in the Saya a little bit more. I think I just have to work it. But if I have to take a file to it, it's no big deal. But there you go. There's a comparison that you can see between the three even though that this is a Tonto. But like I said, I think it's going to be owner's preference. I say it's no Tonto, you may say it's a Kowag Sashi. It's okay. Um, like I said, there's the set measure, there's no real set measurement to a certain point. So, mess around with it. Get different lengths, you know, it's okay. So that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully uh, you all like the O Tonto. Going to be doing some cutting with this for sure. After I strop it, because it does need a stropping. And then we'll see how it performs. Maybe for Samurai Sunday we'll do it. So, we'll see you guys later.